Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video on how to do this, and this is what I was thinking he, the gentleman wanted, but he actually wanted something like this, where the circles are halfway out of the circle, and then he said touching, and he meant touching halfway. So I've got a circle, it doesn't matter what size circle it is, we're going to go and make it six inches. I've got my ratio lock, so it's going to make change one number. Then I've got a two inch circle and I'm going to change my nudge distance just to one inch. But I want that to be touching. I've already got them in the center of the page, but I'm going to hit P just in case. I've got a bow selected. I'm going to hit T as in Tom and it put it to the very top. Now I'm going to nudge it up a one inch, which is half of the two. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that guy. I'm going to move the center rotation in the center. And you can double check it, make sure it is. Now we're going to rotate it 60 degrees. Control D, 120 degrees. And then Control D, Control D, Control D. Everything's equal. Weld it together, and you've got that shape. Now the other way to do this, and I always like showing two ways if there's a possible way to do it, is get your ellipse tool. And get right on the top quadrant. I don't know if you can see that in your monitor. We're on the edge, but we get to the center. We're on the quadrant. Hold down the control in your shift button. And it'll grow a circle from that quadrant. Now, we're too big, but it doesn't matter. We can change this to two inches. And we're back. So, you, you saved a few steps. Holding down the shift key makes it come from the edge. Holding down the control button makes it symmetrical. Holding down the shift... It's going to make it grow from that edge. But if you hold down the control, it makes it equal. So if you hold down both of them, it makes it grow equal from that edge. So you've kind of saved a step if you can do that. You know, by uh, everything. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Double click it. Hit it to the center. This time we're going to rotate 120 degrees. And that's really what he wanted in the original. I don't know what he's doing, making. A lot of times I don't ask. But that's a pretty good shape and it's symmetrical. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.